Hello and welcome to WildernessTV.com. Today we're here at Manningford Trout Fisheries, just outside the village of Pusey, in the stunning Wiltshire countryside. Later, we're going to be talking to Malcolm Hunt, fisheries manager. But first, let's have a look at what Manningford Trout Fisheries has to offer. Manningford Trout Fishery is set in the heart of the Pusey Vale and consists of three well-stocked lakes and two and a half miles of the River Avon. Manor Lake, the biggest of the lakes, is about four and a half acres and is stocked with rainbows, brown and the odd blue trout. Squires Lake is a little more cosy at one and a half acres, but once again it's well stocked with rainbows and browns. But that's not all. Manningford have a third lake, which is solely a catch and release lake. It's not big, but if you've already bagged up, it's a great place to while away the rest of the day. Other facilities include a brand new fishing lodge where you can take a break and relax. It has a picnic area, toilets and hand washing facilities, and a large car park. And those social fishermen amongst you can even enjoy an excellent pub lunch in the nearby Woodbridge Inn. Manningford fisheries are fed by the waters of the Avon and, as already mentioned, two and a half miles of this pristine, intimate chalk stream is available for you to fish. The River Avon is a delight for any angler. Ideal for a light outfit, the river is a perfect opportunity for classic sight fishing with both nymph and dry flies. The river has a natural head of brown trout and grayling, which are supplemented by carefully selected trout reared on the on-site fish farm. The fishing is suitable for bank anglers or those who prefer to wade. Malcolm Hunt is a fisheries manager here and he's on hand to offer advice about what flies to use, what line and where to catch the biggest trout. Let's go and track him down for a chat. What is your stocking policy? We work on a stocking policy of around about 80 fish per acre. Obviously that depends on the time of the year. Um, you, you can have specific stocking policies, but you can have one day where you have 80 fish per acre, but then it's too easy. So then you have to readdress that for the following day. Um, we are very lucky we've got our on-site fish farm, so we can stock throughout the entire day depending on difficulty. Uh, but it, both lakes are around about 80 fish per acre because um, then you're catering for complete beginners, your novice angler and then the, the experienced anglers can pretty much select the fish that they want. Yeah, normally the, the lake is pretty crystal clear. Um, and why should people come here fishing? I think with any still water it's the fact that you know that the fish are stocked in that lake. So. Um, it, on, on a river, you're never sure whether the fish are there, whereas in a still water, you, you're guaranteed that the fish are there. As long as you take the advice from customers that are already on the lake um, and fishery staff, you know, they know where the fish are going to be, what flies to use, what techniques. Um, so it pretty much can guarantee you a, a, a good day's fishing. Manningford is it's a very picturesque water, uh, three separate islands, um, all, all sides of the lake are completely different. Um, you've got good coverage from the trees or you've got the open areas um, for, for longer distance casting. We've tried to not over manicure the fishery, so you will notice looking around the lake there's a lot of trees that anglers will tend to look at and think you know that, that tree shouldn't be there however I think I, I want to encourage the wildlife um, we have resident swans kingfishers uh, we've got four buzzards we're, we're in a perfect location you can encourage wildlife to to better your experience of the day for for this coming year we, we've got a small selection of, of blues um, it was just to add another dimension to the fishery. Uh, we're, we're potentially looking at doing a prize or for uh, catching the three species in one day. We've had it done twice already. 
to, to have a three fish ticket and have a rainbow, a brown and a blue. The river, a catch and release or catch and kill? We, we allow a two fish limit on a day ticket of brown trout, as long as they're over a pound in weight, because there's such a good head of wild browns, we, we want to uh, keep them. So we supplement the stocking with one pound plus browns. The grayling, we, we don't allow them to be killed at all, because we cannot replace those. Um, but we're, we're trying to encourage catch and release on the river as much as possible. On our, any of our tickets, if you have a two fish, three fish, four fish or six fish ticket, um, you can fish either manor or squires or you can do a mixture of both. Um, but basically within that ticket you're allowed to, to catch and release on our specific catch and release lake. Um, both squires and uh, manor lake uh, catch and kill only. But with the catch and release it just means that you can prolong your day yeah, we, we don't mind if you go and catch a couple of fish in one lake and then spend a couple of hours on the catch and release. Um, just to have a nice day out really. Uh, today with the weather conditions we've got a bit of sunshine. It's We've had a cold, quite a cold start this morning. Um, I would be on the floating lines with a minimum of a nine foot leader. Uh, the fish won't be too far under the surface. You're only going to be looking at two feet under the surface. Uh, things like the Bristol hoppers, bloodworms, uh, staple diet for most fisheries, in, including this one, is montanas, pheasant tails, um, daddy long legs, and damsels will always catch. Well, Malcolm's been fantastic, and he's offered us some great advice about how to catch some fish from these lakes. It's now time for myself, Ben, and Ed to head out and catch some stonking fish from these stunning lakes at Manningford Fisheries. This is an absolutely stunning fish. It's not huge, but it put up a fantastic fight. And I caught it on my very own self-tied little Bristol hopper there, off the top. Doesn't get much better than that. Absolutely brilliant. Let's catch some more, shall we? The olive pattern today is doing the business. Um, what's been nice is that I caught, like I said, I caught my first fish today on a, like a hopper, which I tied myself. Uh, and then I've had, yeah, four or five other fish all on uh, olives. So, and it's definitely the olives that seem to be working. I know uh, Ed had one or two on his black humongous. Um, so it seems we have a bigger flies today. What I might do is I might try and pop on a buzzer in a second and see if we can get any action on that.
What I like most about the fisheries here at Manningford is that connection to nature. Although obviously well looked after and managed, the fishery doesn't feel too manicured and with a little patience you might get to see all sorts of wildlife which could include otters, kingfishers, buzzards and deer, not to mention the abundance of wild flora and fauna. Well that's about it for this week's show. Wilderness TV have had a fantastic time fishing and filming here at Manningford Trout Fisheries in the stunning Wiltshire countryside. And we'll be back later in the year to film some top of the water action. For all the information you need to plan your trip here to Manningford Fisheries, just visit their website at www.manningfordtroutfishery.net. And don't forget to mention Wilderness TV. You never know, they might even make you a cuppa. We look forward to seeing you all again soon on the next episode of Wilderness TV.